Okay, so last night I finally got to watch Mandy, the new film by Panos Cosmatos, and he's the director of Beyond the Black Rainbow. movie came out eight years ago so he's already making it clear that he's gonna be one of those directors that waits long periods of times before his movies but I understand why now because there is a lot of shit going on in his head and the fact that he can even make these movies the way he does is outstanding you're a special one so let's get into it Mandy so what you want Crazy evil. Mandy takes place in 1983 in the Shadow Mountains. And this world does not feel like our world. Even in the 80s, it didn't feel like that. This is like a person's comatose fever dream of what they thought the 80s might be like. Nicolas Cage plays a guy named Red, and Andrea Riceborough plays his girlfriend Mandy, and they live in solitude and in peace in the mountains, until one day uh, a cult leader shows up and decides that he wants to possess Mandy, and it doesn't go according to plan, and it basically results in Nicolas Cage having to go on a murder spree, and it's fucking awesome. If you've seen Beyond the Black Rainbow, then you know that Panos Cosmatos has a very unique vision. Um, he's a very good stylistic director. He has a very good vision for what he wants, and um, he uses colors tremendously in this movie, notably red. Uh you think you're so in love? I'll show you love. To even call Mandy or Beyond the Black Rainbow movies is incorrect. It just feels like he's creating experiences and he's filming what you had a nightmare about when you were a child in the 80s. He had once said when he made Beyond the Black Rainbow that some of the inspiration behind it was that when he was a kid walking through a video store and he saw the covers and the backs of all these like crazy horror movies. Um, he wasn't allowed to rent them, so he just imagined what that movie might be about, and then he set out to make that movie. And I feel like the same principle applies to Mandy. He is a lot more focused on style and aesthetics than he is substance. Not that that's a bad thing, but there's not a whole lot of story to this movie. It's very cut and dry, really, when you, when you break it down. But the visuals are just so nightmarish and so dark and so exciting that you just get lost in this world. And the good thing about Mandy compared to Beyond the Black Rainbow is he had a bigger budget so he was able to do a little bit more stuff and that includes like animations and just more choreographed scenes, you know, like there's really cool fight scenes in this movie, there's a chainsaw fight. There's a knife fight in the kitchen. Um, basically, he just had a lot of fun making the movie he's always wanted to see. And now we all get to see it. It's on, uh, it's streaming now, so you can rent it and you can watch it. Uh, it's probably playing at some theaters, but I'm not sure where, probably in major cities. But I really recommend watching Mandy if you are really into 80s, horror, just nostalgia in general, Nicolas Cage. And um, if you like seeing a lot of blood and guts, this is also is a movie for you. One thing I can see people having issue with is that it does burn really slowly. But that's what I like about his movies. You kind of just have to set two hours out of your day to just meditate, kind of. You know, you, you are just like immersed into this world and you don't know what's going to happen next, but each shot is better than the next, so... It's, it's incredible eye candy. So go see Mandy and support Panos Cosmatos. I hope it's not another eight years before you make another movie because I really like what you're doing. I am picking up what you're putting down and keep on trucking. All right, see you next time on Dom Talks Movies. Bye, love you.